guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Keith and I post vlogs while I am traveling so right now me and the boys my offspring we are about to leave Detroit for the holiday season and go down to the port of Palm Beach in Florida so that we can try out Margaritaville at City to the Bahamas this was a part of some of their Christmas gifts, so <sighs> I've read some things, I've seen some things, but I'm gonna get my own in-depth review of it. So stay tuned. YouTube, good morning. So we're about to go get the continental breakfast before we go to the port to check in. The port is about um, an hour away. So I'll keep you posted on how that check-in process went. Finally here. I'll tell you guys about the drive in ballet momentarily. Now on our way to our room, let's see what we have in store. Room 4108. So as you can see, obviously there are three of us, so occupancy was very important to me. But as you open the first door here, you will see life jackets in a safe. They'll give you more details about the life jacket during the muster station, which everyone is required to go to. On the left hand side, there's also closet space as well as a refrigerator that's underneath that bottled water. The bottled waters are $5 per person if you open them. FYI, water is not included if you are outside of the buffet. Then there was a small outage, I'm sorry, outlet here in this desk vanity area. Let's see what's in this closet. Perfect, a pullout mattress, which is exactly what we needed. So we have the king size bed as well as this pullout mattress. FYI guys, underneath the desk vanity area is only one outlet, just one. But don't worry, I got you guys back. I purchased a surge protector from Amazon that helped me so I can um, charge multiple devices at once. You're definitely gonna need it. There's no outlets in the bathroom either. So in the bathroom, you'll see it was a decent enough space for a cruise ship where I could be able to move around if needed two of us could be in the same time if needed thank goodness we didn't need to they came with the towels here is the shower fyi guys just a sidebar there's 18 percent gratuity for anything that you purchase food wise on the or drink wise on a cruise wi-fi is 15 dollars to up to 25 dollars per day port fees 88 dollars and 44 cent will be added as well as additional fuel charges First meal, mahi mahi, fried yucatan, squash, zucchini, curry rice, and shrimp lobster. I'm sorry, shrimp uh, macaroni and cheese. Cheesecake. We are now so 
Okay, the sale party is still going on. We took off probably like uh, probably about an hour ago. Took off pretty much on time. I think this might be an adults only side and I have a kid with me, so I might have to move. But yeah, it was a beautiful night to leave so far. Everything has been good. Let me tell y'all about uh, directions in ballet. I'm gonna upload a picture of it in a minute. But the directions that the GPS gives you as well as the address they have on their website is not directly to the port. I was driving and I knew something was wrong because I was like, no, that looks very industrial. It's somewhere where only employees have access to. Apparently this is the regular thing because they already had a printed form that told me the directions on how to actually get to the port. It was only maybe a mile or two away. But I followed those directions. Pay for valet, you have to pay valet. You're gonna park here, so Uber or trans whatever transportation service. You gotta pay $22 a day, and you have to pay it right then and there. It doesn't get charged to your room, anything like that, so either have cash, and they did have a card reader, but you had to get out of the car, walk over a little bit to actually pay somebody at the card reader. Um, what else? Check-in process was pretty easy. Wasn't difficult, probably one of the easiest ones I ever had. Just gave them our passports. Um, had the opportunity to add additional packages if I chose to, but I declined at that time. I might add some more later. So yeah, night one. It's a comedy show tonight. You see I inserted the comedian that will be performing. Uh, they said he's been on the Braxton Family Values and he has opened up for D.L. Hughley. So if I'm awake, I might go at 10 15 tonight, but I can sleep early. So. Good morning, day two. We have reached Freeport. I think in the middle of the night we were just circling around because Freeport is only like 50 miles away from Florida. So I think we were just going around wasting time. Um, we're about to go to the buffet for breakfast. It's super windy. But we're here at Freeport. We just had the buffet breakfast again. Buffet ends at 9.30. So what I've noticed that thus far about the rooms is I've had to stay in it a full night. The refrigerator was not in good condition. Luckily, I didn't have anything to store anyway, but it was not in good condition. Would not recommend using, could have used a deeper thing. Um, the bed was comfortable. As you see, we had the room with the pullout, so my kids slept on it pretty well. No complaints. Um, the sheets were clean soft and pampery. The bathroom needs some upgrading as far as the sink goes and you can see like the construction or somewhere that needs to be recalked and stuff like that. That can be upgraded. Shower was interesting. Trying to shower in that little space. Woo, that shower curtain kept touching me so I could only imagine if I was someone of bigger stature or a man trying to take a shower in there and that shower curtain kept touching me. That's nasty. I don't know how often they clean that so I had to like school real close to the shower head. Like, I can't let that, sh that shower curtain touch me. The floor uh, did get wet. The shower space is like a little piece that goes under about an inch or so, um, lower than the floor, but it needs to be deeper than that because the floor still got wet. Um, so they're saying that it's not a lot to do at Freeport, at this actual um, cruise port when you get down there, but they do have excursions like swimming with the pigs, um, a dolphin experience, and Taino Beach, the Wyndham, and there's one more hotel, I forget what it is, but you pay to go to the hotel. The food is not inclusive, the drinks are not inclusive. You just have more of an experience. And you can book them ahead of time, or you can book it once you actually get here. I believe it's on deck five. Um, I, I'm still indecisive. I don't have a lot of time to make up my mind whether we're going to do an excursion or not. There is, uh, I believe Taino Beach is the best one for us because I have a lot of kid-friendly things to do. And typical teenager just wants to isolate himself. So I'm debating on do I want to pay for that excursion and I'm going to have to um, force him out. 
I believe he's an adult rate as well. Yeah, once you're over 11, it's an adult rate, so. Or should I stay here on the boat because there is still an itinerary full of things to do today? I don't know, but I don't have a lot of time and I gotta hurry up and make up my mind. But yeah, guys, it's nice. I'm gonna actually like get dressed and stuff. And we'll see y'all in the next segment. playing a game ran by entertainment there's also a bingo tonight to win a free cruise but you have to pay for your boards I don't know what the cost is but that's on there so although we missed the excursion opportunity we're still having a good time just FYI, if you were considering, you're still able to book through third-party companies. It doesn't have to be through the cruise line. So like TripAdvisor, Expedia, whatever. Um, the one I wanted to do for us was on Bookport today, actually. Once I went back and looked, it was Bookport today. They didn't have anything open until tomorrow. But um, I might do the cruise line again, give it another shot. It's been okay. It hasn't been horrible um cool especially for the price it's kind of a you get what you pay for a situation but it's not as bad as i was anticipating based on other people's you know interpretations and perspectives um but i do it again sure why the f um i haven't seen anything where it's concerning to like a concern to like my health or it's like the food was disgusting and i was vomiting it was straight it was great. Um, a few things that I mentioned about the refrigerator. Oh, and the rooms were hot as hell. I did wake up because I was hot as hell. They need, to, they need to fix that. And I'm usually really cold, so they need to fix that. Yeah, as I was saying, the rooms were hot as hell. I saw that in somebody else's video and it slipped my mind until I woke up after I was napping and I woke up because I was hot. And I had on Christmas pajamas, so I had to take my son's Christmas pajamas off him too because I could see that he was literally sweating sweat beads all over his head. That also is something they need to fix. Like, that's inappropriate. Um, couldn't, couldn't do anything about that. Like, I was like, it's not cool. But, uh, enjoyable time. The kids are having a ball. I'm going to try to make it to some other things tonight. We'll see. Back to the United States. It was a fun, short occasion, but I think we see our arcade, so we're gonna check that out. Arcade time. There's not too many games past this. This is literally it.
There's a bar around the corner, but nobody is actually there. So, yeah. And just like that, guys, we're back home in Michigan that fast. So, yeah, we were able to get the two-day cruise done super quick. Um, disembarkation was easy as well um, because our flight was a little bit later. We spent some time in the buffet eating. We had to vacate your room by 9.30, so we um, vacated at, like, 9.15 and went up to the buffet, which also ended at 9.38 rested let the people that had to get out early get out for early access we waited until the very end so we left probably at about 11 30 or so but overall would i do it again yeah i'd give it another shot um it was great it still is still enjoyable um it was a good experience i appreciate you guys for watching so be sure to like share subscribe follow to Marie.